Well, we got we got a lot to get into. Uh, suffice Let's it to say, it. man, because you packed a lot into six weeks in this house. I, I want to start with where things ended because obviously, like Julie even points it out, you almost look like a shell of yourself once that AI arena competition ends up coming out, and you're walking around to Angela and you're telling her like. It's me, you know, I've been protecting you all week. Were you surprised by the way that the votes ultimately shook out? What was going through your head right after you lost that AI arena competition through when you walked out the door? Uh, I had a very strong inkling that I was going out. Um, I was being told that we got the votes. I really didn't think we did. I know that I was a very appetizing target the whole time in there. And the second people would have a chance to strike. They would have been fools not to, um, but I did a lot in the house to keep people around and uh, make them feel good. So I was hoping that would come back and, and repay me, but this is not a place, not a house to be a nice guy in apparently. Uh, so I, I would have been, I was expecting me to go if it was a tie. I was hoping t would have kept me, but I was not expecting it to be anything more than a tie. I was more so expecting the three that I got, Rubina, Kimo, and Joseph. Mm. And, uh, yeah. Well, you talk, what you, it is. you talk about making yourself an appetizing target, and what certainly helps sort of tenderize uh, your boot here was the fact that you said that you're fine going up on the block, which had been a trademark of Tucker up to this point. But I mean, you know, you just watched Cedric do this and get evicted in a house flip. You had just won HOH and Vito. Talk to me about why you did decide to approach t and let her know that you were okay going up on the block. I told t I was, I was surprised that she actually did it mm -hmm. because there was a lot of other targets she could have gone after. Um, I know that she was close with Chelsea and they had an unspoken agreement until jury, but you know, Leah had never been on the block. Um, Chemo didn't trust her that much. That would have been a good person to go in there, but I wanted to be a gentleman and I offered it to two people that I was not in an alliance with. So I'm in an alliance with her. She has the most contagious, joyous, celebratory happiness you know um even when we would play pool and she would take a ball she'd jump up and down and be so excited and you can't not you can't not feel warm in your heart so i know how hard that hoh can be i know that she's a very empathetic person and um i just wanted to offer it so she knew she had that comfort padding if she needed it i didn't think she needed it um but you know, once the decision was made, I was ready to do what I did the last two weeks. You know, Cedric didn't have a winning streak like me and he wasn't in there. He, like I was very comfortable in the AI arena. Um, and I love puzzles even still, regardless of that. I just didn't listen to the directions clearly. I thought the numbers had to face the other way. Um, and they were supposed to face you when you put them up. So got the best of me. Yeah. So you were given some power this week, even if it wasn't through the form of competitions, but the AI instigator. And one of the things that you did was publicly out your showmance with Rabina, which obviously prompted a bit of an adverse reaction from her, but I can also reveal to you as well certainly may have contributed to the reason why you're talking with me today is that people like Leah and Mackenzie, who were probably trying to build a relationship with you, you know, especially during your HOH week, once it was sort of confirmed, okay, Rabina isn't that sister to him, like he claimed, does he really want to keep us around? That helped contribute to them voting you out. So talk to me about your logic in deciding to have the instigator be so public about your showman's. That's very, um, first of all, Rubina, I'm so sorry that you got sad during that. That was not my intentions whatsoever. Uh, that was the hardest thing to do in this house. But it was also very hard to keep that secret going. Uh, there's a lot of mental strain that goes on in there. There's a lot of strategizing that has to happen. And so 
it wasn't to put it in people's faces. It was to ease our minds and to let us let us be us when we wanted. Um, we had talks about how we were just going to be like, screw it. Let's just tell people. And, um, you know, it was to sort of put a target back on Quinn because he was there and did see it. And they weren't trusting him and they shouldn't be trusting him um, in the game, obviously. But yeah, it was really to ease pressure on us, not put pressure on us. And I don't think that worked out so well the first few days. But in the end, I think it it did. Um, I know showmances get targeted, but I I was down to... I knew all those targets wouldn't really go to her. They would go to me. So I was down to be the the human shield. And uh, they broke the human shield, unfortunately. Um, but I kind of did it to myself. So that's, that's a little relief that I could have in it. Um, I don't think anyone got me out but myself in this game. So I'm ready to run it back. Well, last thing I want to ask is play a quick game with you uh, because you had so many, you know, various friendships and rivalries with these people. I'm going to give you a name of someone who's currently left in the house and you give me one word or the first few words that come to mind for them. How's that sound? Okay. I well, love it. Let's start with a big one, especially this past week, Angela. Crazy. <laughs> Unloyal. About... Mm. Paranoid. How about Cam? That's my guy, Cam. Um, smooth and steady. Chelsea. Very observant and calculated. Joseph. Oh, man. I love Joseph. He is, for Joseph, it's a... Uh, hilarious and incredibly smart how about chemo one of the loveliest guys i've ever met um a bundle of joy and very observant leah mm, sneaky Ooh, okay how about mj mckenzie She's uh oh that's a tough one, Mackenzie. She's she's adapting. Mm. She's good at adapting and uh a competitor. Now I imagine you have a lot of words for this guy, Quinn. Snake, ungrateful, um, but probably the most well thought out player in there and deceiving. He knows what it takes and he's got all the qualities of it. Untrustworthy, but a great player. Someone I'm sure you have a lot of other words for, Rabina. Cute as a button, amazing person. Um, just as lovely as a human could possibly be. And uh, she is incredibly strong and independent and needs to trust in herself a little more and she'll win this. And finally, t -Core. My artist buddy, she's shy, a little afraid uh to play the game for what it's worth uh but she is so creative and talented uh, well tucker I, I don't know if you've been hearing this up to this point but let me you know prepare you for the tidal wave of fans that are going to be coming your way positively i mean i think everything you brought you said you wanted to be one of a kind you didn't want to play scared. Uh, you left people scared with some of these big chaotic moves you were doing. And the chaos did come for you eventually. But, you know, yep. on behalf of the fans, I just wanted to, to thank you for everything that you brought.
for the past six weeks. There's a lot of love out there for you. And I'm excited for you to, to take it all in once you leave the house. Thank you very much. I can't wait to do that. I appreciate all your words. I appreciate all the love everyone out there has been giving me. Um, and, you know, expect the unexpected. And to thine own self be true. Life's all about experience. So that's how I was raised. And that's how I was playing this game. And that's how I live my life. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. As much as I want to leave it on that high note, I just want to point out, because you came in being like, I'm doing well. And I hope Quinn is going next. Uh, Quinn did win HOH. Somebody get this kid out the house. <laughs> so I, that's a familiar thing. I feel like I heard that said your way last week as well. So we'll see if that's the case. Tucker, thank you so much. To thine own self be true. Thank you for being true and open as you always are in this talk. With me. Su such a pleasure, man. All the best to you and yours. Thank you. The pleasure is all mine. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Have a good one. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye.